Facebook chief executive Mark Zuckerberg unveiled a new search feature on Tuesday in the company's first staged event at its California headquarters since its May initial public offering. Ebru's New York co correspondent Aaron Aid has more on that. Aaron? Brian, it's called Graph Search, and it's a new service that lets users search their social connections for everything from people to interests to photos and places for more information. The company said the new Graph Search will help its users who, for instance, want to scroll through all the photos their friends have taken in Paris or search for the favorite TV shows of all their friends who happen to be doctors. Until now, Facebook users were unable to search for friends who live in certain towns or like a particular movie. So one of the challenges that Facebook has had and one of the criticisms has been that, you know, they're sitting on this incredible cache of data and of information about people and their relationships and their likes, but it hasn't really been uh, usable. With the new feature, people can search for friends who, say, live in Boston, and who also like the movie Zero Dark Thirty. Zuckerberg says the new search feature is privacy aware, which means users can only search for content that has been shared with them. Still, the company will need to make it clear to its users that the new feature isn't unearthing information about them that wasn't already available. Facebook's foray into search marks one of its boldest steps since its initial public stock offering flopped eight months ago amid concerns about the company's ability to produce the same kind of robust earnings growth that Google delivered after it went public in 2004. This is in line with the pre-IPO strategy of creating products and features that it tests on users, then develops and changes those features depending on their experience. It is part of the company's agile development strategy. Meaning that they'll put things out, you know, their motto is done is better than perfect. They'll put things out, they'll learn from them, they'll see how people use them, they'll tweak, they'll change, some things they'll kill, some things they'll morph, and then over time you start to see the value emerge from what it is that they're doing, or not, in which case they'll stop it and they'll do something else. It will likely take more than a year for search to be available to all of Facebook's more than one billion users as the company's engineers and designers tweak the service based on how people use it. Now, in the meantime, at the company's Menlo headquarters in California, the usual thumbs-up sign has now been replaced by a fingers-forward sign. And uh, this is seeming to suggest that the company is eager, very eager, to move forward from that debacle IPO crisis that happened a couple months ago. So we'll see what happens there with Facebook. But it seems like everyone uses Facebook, and it's not going to go anywhere. So fingers forward, guys.